one of the questions is what actually happens in the surgery when, when the idea is to put a new blood vessel uh, into the region of the brain where it's needed, how does it work? Uh, there have been a whole host of different types of surgical procedures that have been described over the past several decades with varying degrees of success. Um, the two most common are what are called direct and indirect. Um, direct surgery is exactly as it's described and what that means is you take a blood vessel from the scalp, <clears throat> you cut it open, uh, and then you plug it into a pre-existing blood vessel in the brain. So essentially you're putting a new pipe uh, into a pre-existing plumbing system. Um, that tends to work well in kids who have bad symptoms, uh, but one of the problems is, is that in young children, oftentimes the blood vessel is so tiny that it will not physically stay open or have the blood uh, supply that it needs to provide the brain. The other concern is when you plug it in, it may be putting a good pipe into bad plumbing and may not work. Um, that being said, we do use this in some selected cases and it seems to work very well when carefully chosen. Uh, the other type of surgery is called indirect, and that's what we would call here peel synangiosis, where you essentially uh, dissect out a blood vessel and you put it over a big surface of the brain itself. What we find is that the process of angiogenesis, where new blood vessels grow, like ivy growing on the side of a wall, happens in, re in uh, response to a brain that starved for oxygen. So when the brain doesn't have enough oxygen, it secretes growth factors and proteins, and we've studied this in our laboratories here, and, and those proteins and growth factors stimulate this blood vessel to put out new roots which create an entirely new plumbing system that supplies the brain. And so that's what we hope happen after surgery and we can document that not only uh, with an x-ray or an angiogram to so show the blood vessels but more important clinically we see that these strokes disappear and the children tend to do well.